Hello there, this is Med Expo Africa and we are here with another topic, a very interesting topic, DNA and paternal testing. Oh my God, the whole social media has been burning, radio stations have been burning, there's been a banter. I'm sure you've seen memes. Is that child yours? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it has been so crazy that people have been doing testing. Is that child yours? Am I sure that even Ministry of Health had to come up and choose two labs that are authorized to do DNA testing. That is the MBN lab at Nakasero Road and the government diagnostic lab because fake tests were coming up, everything was coming up. But with me now, we have three lovely doctors and I'll let them introduce themselves. I'm called Dr. Kunsa Hudson Dimitrius. Thank you. Dr. Nyamaran Newton Simen, happy to be here. Tanel Keraswal Haren Zaho. Yeah. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. So let's start with Dr. Brianna. What is DNA? Simple terms, it's a genetic composition that determines you. It determines who you are, determines mm -hmm. what you do, your functionality, your entire being. Okay. And that is DNA. All right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dr. Swalha, I think we are 8 billion people in the world. Mm. And is there a possibility that two people can have the same DNA? Uh, given the technology we have now, uh, no two people can have the same exact DNA. You see it when it comes to, you know, fingerprints. If you had the same exact DNA with your monozygotic twin, monozygotic means an identical twin, uh, in case you have like a criminal case, you know, you will see that you will have a different fingerprint and they will have a different fingerprint. And that's how they will tell the two of you apart. So, meaning, both of you do not have the same exact DNA. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Two people cannot have the same exact DNA. It's not possible. So is there a possibility that maybe uh, if we're talking about DNA where you get half from the mother and half from the father, is there a possibility that, okay, dad is more dominant, mom is more dominant, or the yeah. half still work? Yeah. The mother <laughs> contributes half. Yeah of the genetic composition of the child and the father contributes half. These things are saying that the father is more dominant or the mother is more dominant. That, that case is not there. Everybody contributes half. Unless uh, there are some uh, pregnancies that whereby they are abnormal. These are the abnormal instances whereby you will have uh, whatever is formed in the mother's womb having only the father's DNA. But usually these, these things are non-viable, these pregnancies are non-viable and usually they usually they usually come out, they have miscarriages. So that can't happen in normal circumstances. So you cannot have a living being having just one person's genetic contribution. That cannot happen. Yeah. So, Dr. Kunsa, <laughs> paternal testing is more common. Why isn't, why don't we say maternal testing? Why is it paternal testing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Sia. Uh, when you look at uh, the paternal testing, when you hear we want to confirm if really this DNA, mm. because we see that the DNA determines everything that you are. Okay. Yeah, it's what will determine if you'll be tall, short, light, dark, or that yeah yeah so when you look at first we take an assumption that since you're the mother this baby is from you definitely you're the mother. it's yours yeah. It's you. yeah. <laughs> yes so we would not doubt the mother so much but we've heard of cases where the hospitals the hospitals they can maybe exchange babies so mm. in that case we can also go on to do a maternal testing but scientifically why we don't really consider maternal uh, testing it's because of the uh, mutations okay. when we look at mutations it's when the dna tries to change there are always some changes that can happen and these changes make some differences and as we grow these changes keep on happening in our dnas but it does that's one of the ways that can lead also to cancers okay as yeah. we saw earlier so uh, mothers contribute a dna which we call the mitochondrial DNA. So in these mothers, there is a tendency that their DNA changes very fast. Okay. So it's like the, the maternal part of the DNA, it, which has contributed to the baby, in the small part we call that mitochondria there, it changes very fast. Mm -hmm. So it's very easy that sometimes you can check it and then you find it's quite a bit different 
but now for the paternal, because it doesn't contribute to mitochondria, this is a bit stable. So when you do the testing, the paternal will be better than the, the, maternal. the maternal because it's a bit uh, stable. So for an adopted child looking for their biological parents, yeah. how can is it possible that I will be able to find my mother since you've talked about the changes that yeah, keep going? It, it's possible. Still mm. even now, we can do a maternal on you, like the child and mother. It's just that the percentage will be a bit lower. A bit lower, yeah, okay. As compared to the male. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, but uh, if we do, still we can look at the percentage and be like, you're close to this woman by this percentage. So less likely or more likely. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. Dr. Brianna, how accurate is this DNA thing? <laughs> <laughs> it is accurate. It depends. Yeah. So most times the DNA will... So you, you've seen like in those... How do you call them? I think there's like paternity court. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're 99.99% most That's likely like, the father <laughs> or 98. <laughs> but so normally a good above 95% will tend to give us a proper rating of, of, mm. of, of, of parent... Let me not say paternity. Okay, paternity, but like parenthood of this is your parent by that percentage because of course you you know people like even if like distant relatives and distant cousins the thing will keep on reducing now some people go to how did how is it called genetic like to find where you come from and, and then they history, stay yes. at your one percent european mm. 0 0.2 percent <laughs> italian <African>. you get mm. <laughs> those things for africa yeah and so there's always there's, there's small small estimates mm. but normally above a good 94 percent is mm -hmm. there but also don't forget that we have a 98% DNA similarity with like chimpanzees. Oh, yeah. mm. <laughs> so for them, like even it comes, even like, yeah, when it comes to the intelligence and whatnot, they're very, very highly um, similar to human beings yes. in that nature, more than even the monkeys mm. and the apes mm. species. They are the most similar to us. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so there is those things, but so a good above 94% will give us most times a good family next of. Like, you know, right? like the, mm. the first family, if I may say, biological yes. family, parent, uh, siblings, things like that. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so now uh, I've seen in the movies where people are always pulling hair mm. and they're like, take this, test it. <laughs> so uh, is, there in, is it accurate? Mm. Are there other samples we can take from the body <laughs> to confirm? Every the part DNA. of our body has DNA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so every part can be taken. I think people we pick hair because it's the easiest to pick. Like mm. I don't mean pulling out someone's <laughs> tooth. Like pulling. Or like the father mm. finds you and someone's child's blood, like mm. you're sucking it out. But like when it comes to like hair branches, that's why I'm like, now women who be having like wigs. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find you that. Find that one yeah, a lady from In India. India yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> it's just not adding. Um, yeah. um, but like for so most times, I think the hair is the easiest to access. Yeah. But every place people mm. pick from the mouth, like Actually. the things, the testing that is done for ancestry tracing, they normally like to do samples from the mouth. Yes. Yeah, and then they mm. pick samples and then they ship them and get them processed and all these things. Yeah. But yeah, so every area of our body will easily give us tests. Yes. Mm. Actually, yeah, the saliva is also easy. Yeah. And yeah. then even the blood. Like she said, every part of our body mm. has DNA. Mm. Actually, very true. And even comes to forensics. Eh? Uh, if in case there has been a murder case, usually when people are struggling and they, they usually struggle and fight with the with the the person who's actually killing them, so they pick the skin cells from the nails, and they, you know, in their computers, they tend to match DNA with people who they have picked samples from, especially former perpetrators, so they can tell. Okay, now this is the person. Yeah, mama, like when are we going to reach wherever you can? <laughs> like our forensic. First of all, I feel like forensic medicine is so dope. Yeah. Mm, like, look, when fine. are we getting to forensic medicine, you people? It's so like you know how you find people tracing and they're really <laughs> doing the most mm. I don't know the yeah. thing, but like it's just so interesting yeah mm. yeah <laughs> so I think our conversation has really delved deeper into DNA the simple things yeah. is it accurate mm. um 94 percent accuracy we mm. have given a percentage and like with emphasis Uganda we have two places mm. yeah so if you want to get accurate results go to MBN lab at Nakasero yeah. and then yeah I have seen 
clinics advertising we do dna here because it's the thing on you know it's the, the, the you know you move with a trend every clinic we do dna testing here every even a pharmacy they we have people who do dna tests because you know they eat people's money and destroy families you know giving wrong results Oh, but you guys, yeah. me, I want to like know, mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> <laughs> why is it an issue of national crisis, truly? Because, you know why? <laughs> like, we have seen so many families mm. where there are children that are not the woman's children. Like, you know how, like, I think the African setting, mm. they bring, like, the... The man, had, sometimes, sometimes they'll request, sometimes some women are okay with it, but sometimes you find the woman has no say, especially when the man is the sole provider of the home. Yeah. And like, Avana Vaina Kula, together, together yes. and they bring them into the home by force and all these things. And it's mm. so, actually, it is more common to find families where there are children that are outside of the wedlock mm. than families where they are all one unit. But now... When the DNA paternity issue becomes an issue, now people are like killing themselves. Yeah. What's up with that? We live in a like, patriarchal society. Yeah, and like, yeah, we do. Not and entirely. I, I, that, that, that not the, entirely that is the patriarchal. Normal. But it's it's it is a patriarchal it's society. It's patriarchal, but like, yeah. it, it, but it, it, it actually is. is. Mm. I think, uh, you see, when you talk about... When you talk about the other way around, a man bringing the children at home and mm. tells you the wife yeah. have to you have, to, you have yeah. to take care of the children. You have to take care of them. I think it is something that uh, what pains the males the other way around. If you I find out that this it's, child is not mine, let's get the male it's because perspective. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> you get, I, you're home. You're there with your children. Okay. I brought you these children. You know they are not yours, mm. but they are mine. I brought them home. So you're raising them knowing these ones are not my biological, but mm. they're broken. Mm. Yeah. Now me, I'm in the darkness. I don't know. Mm. Also, it's I'm an raising, issue of... Uh... I'm raising each and every one. I'm being pushed to pay tuition, school fees, bills. I'm abused because I'm not doing my duties. Mm. And someone that I'm not... <laughs> you're not really listening <laughs> to. If I, if I knew that... The one I choose. That they're, they're not mine, mm. I would do all the good that I can. Mm. But then like... It, it's, painful. Yeah. it's painful. It's painful. Okay, for I men. think I get that perspective. Because yeah. otherwise, like people are falling off buildings. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be the stronger species. Why are you <laughs> throwing yourselves off buildings? It's painful. Mm. Anyway, mm. It's such a yeah, such a social topic because mm. you know it impacts family life, trust, and all. So if yeah. we're really going to delve deep to the social, then we have to consider because if you say it hurts you, it also hurts the woman. Yeah. yeah. Because we don't know. You just surprise me one day with a baby. With a baby. Like, oh yeah. So you on know. their burials, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> on the burials. Oh, yeah. Have to, yeah, you have yeah. to share now with other children, <laughs> yeah. and, they didn't know. and usually those so children look exactly it's, like the father. It's surprising for both. <laughs> it's surprising for both. Yeah. 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 Mm. I, I get what he's saying of like they've brought them under his care without him knowing. Mm. So that one kind of okay, it kind of mm. validates the point. Yeah. But still, like man, you know, you don't be knowing. You know, we've seen the stories of the women who be like, she loved the husband, she trusted him. Me, I got the one in a million. What? Why is why women? This day they say fear them because the men's hearts have been had there. <laughs> oh, uh, then you go to find at the man's funeral, Ati, there are seven others on the road. You're like, ah, <laughs> why did you come <laughs> home? I think that like really killed. I think that's not that's now where you find women even get out of mourning. She's like, naive, fat, yeah. like, mm. get this. Anyway, I get that now. I get what you try to mean, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's it mm -hmm. with uh, this topic. Uh, I just want to invite you for the med expo which will be taking place from 7 to 9 september mm. we will all be there let's talk yeah. more about dna you know mm. <laughs> we might share some things that we need to also learn from you guys yeah some dna tests can be mm. done will it be done if you're not strong, if you're not strong. <laughs> if you're not shall, strong. Shall, maybe we shall invite the mbn to come and pick some <laughs> from people <laughs> okay yeah thank you so much for attending mm. see you at the med expo mm. yeah.